there. My channel, live streams. Oops, we already gone live. Okay, let's check it out. My content. My channel. Hmm. How do we go to live streams on Rumble? Live streaming. Okay, we're already live streaming. Nice, excellent. So we're live streaming here. We're live streaming here. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Let me set myself up. I'm slowly trying to figure out the configuration of how to go about temporary peace. Hello, finally made it to live. Nice. <laughs> awesome, you made it to a nice one. We're gonna be doing. Uh, whoop, let me do this. Let me. Blackberry, a Blackberry live stream again. Uh, let me kick in the chat on uh, Rumble. Greetings, Chicho. Greetings to you as well, brother or sister, of course. Fed Pizza, what are you doing? Hello. A uh, real quick here, but I uh, here, but I love what you do. And goodbye, goodbye, friend. <laughs> Thank you for popping in. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. And our chat's working, so that's great. Uh, let me turn on this light. Doink. I usually turn on this light. Um, panic, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Selena, Selena Gomez ads. Selena, Go <laughs> Selena Gomez ads. <laughs> Fun. Uh, we're also live streaming on Rumble, by the way, gang. Dancing Vigil, how are you doing? Long time, long time. How's, how's the cranky cat? <laughs> cranky cat's doing good. <laughs> Nice. Let me pop out the chat uh, in uh, Rumble. How do we do this? Should be able to pop out the chat here. I think that's the pop out chat. Pop out chat. Did it pop out chat? It's not popping out chat. That's not it. Hey, that was, oh, that's up here. That's where it is. Pop out chat. I'm slowly trying to get to uh, uh, used to live streaming on two platforms let me do this uh, so we're live streaming on uh, rumble as well finish dude how are you doing hope you're doing well uh, welcome welcome uh, panic uh, here to get my news of what's going on in the world <laughs> right now the news is we're making blackberry jam that's what we're going to be doing uh, we're going to keep the politics and politics stream. There is, you know, we can hint on some stuff because we're going to be loading this full live stream on sensor tube. Uh, there's some things we can't talk about. Okay. Um, Nazgul. Nazgul Christ. Nazgul Christ. Whoa, that's serious. I'm going to increase the chat size on these. Um, let me see if I can do it here. No, I can't do it there. Let's see if we can do it here. Boing, boing. Is this gonna work? I can make it bigger here. I don't know if I can. That shows up on here. No, it doesn't. How do I? Okay, we leave it alone. <laughs> no messing around. Okay, no messing around. Ah, uh, by the way, how's the main camera? Is it a little gritty? Cause th this is a new laptop, and I'm using the laptops. Uh, camera and it looks a little gritty on my side and that's what I've noticed with uh, MSI uh, grainy that I, yeah it's a bit grainy but still good still good it's grainy but it's still pretty solid it is a bit it is a bit grainy okay because with the other MSI I was using the external I was using three cameras right we had these two cameras set up and I would put a, another HD camera on top to bypass the MSI so maybe next time we'll use that as well um, I'll, we'll see the gray feeling is sort of chill as well so not bad not bad baby nights how are you doing what is up Chicho in game hope all is well let's make some jam baby Woo -hoo -hoo. Uh, finished dude I'm doing okay still sick but how are you doing today doing good I've been uh, uh, getting a little bit more sleep recouping a little bit and just getting things ready again the mindset of live stream multiple days in a row which is fantastic right uh, which I like which we used to do a fair bit panic uh, but I'm the 
grittiest motherfucker in the world. Nice. <laughs> Maybe nice. This gives some uh, vintage and retro uh, retro vibes. I like it. Really? Okay, cool. Hong Hong, thank you very much. Hey, that's Elder God. Elder God subscribed for 18 months straight. Woohoo. I gotta bring out the uh, beer. What are we drinking a little bit of beer again? Hold on. Let, what we're gonna do, let's... Uh, let me load up uh, the quick intro uh, because we've got business to do. Oh, God, how you doing? You said you, you were going to be late today. <laughs> Dancing with your politics in jail. That would be funny. We've done uh, pancakes of philosophy, pancakes and a bunch of things. Um, the jam making, why not? Uh, we can talk a little bit about it. We can talk a little bit about it. Uh, again, quick intro. We're on Patreon, Substack, Subscribestar. Um, for those of you that are supporting this work, on those platforms including uh twitch where we're live streaming as well as rumble 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 where we're live streaming gang for those of you just supporting this work on all those platforms and more and on our gilded server where we're chit chatting with everyone enjoying our uh, our uh, our free conversations. I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger so it matches the <laughs> sensor tube stuff, the, the other stuff. Uh, we do have a, oh, I got to fix the rest of them. Uh, SoundCloud page. Let's do this now. Whoops. I mucked it up because this is really small. Is that going to work? That's going to work. Do it manually. We're on uh, Twitter, Minds, VK, Getter, Substack Notes. And all that jazz, um, gang, for those of you who are supporting this work on all these platforms and more, thank you for the support. It is in large part because of your support, boink, that we're able to do what it is that we are doing. Okay. Uh, gang, welcome to another live stream. And I want to bring a beer, but we'll do it with tea. Salute to the mods, gang. Elder God. You, as you said yesterday, you're always here, brother. Salute to you and the rest of the mods, of course. Right, uh, gang. Let me take these guys down. Before I get myself a drink, uh, just some beer left over from yesterday and more. Uh, attention required. Very browser triggered a high. CPU usage alert. Did it? Why is it triggering a high CPU usage alert? Because we're got two live streams going. That's why. I'm gonna kill this. <laughs> and I'm gonna <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna keep these open because I wanna know uh that we're live streaming. Uh that it's all going well. So I'm gonna do that. Boop, boop. Nazgul, the video quality reminds me of like a early 2010 ASMR video tutorial. It's great, honestly. It adds well to your general vibe. Awesome, awesome. That's good. The gritty it is then. Nice. Uh, loser forever. How are you doing? That pancake stream was one of my favorites. Yeah, me too. We do again. We do again. <laughs> morning pancakes and philosophy why not all right uh j pal how are you doing welcome welcome hello chicho and all thanks for hopping on and helping me get through the rest of this work day indeed for sure j for sure panic don't remember being here and not seeing all the god yeah I, I i i don't think there's one there, i can't recall any right i can't recall any the pancakes you second that the pancakes we do again i've uh, i was eating a lot of sourdough bread because uh, my partner got into making sourdough bread so i chilled out on the pancake munching <laughs> but maybe we kick it up uh gang let me load up the blackberries right because we've got to cook them up right so i'm gonna before you know i pour myself a drink and we get things going let me set up our videos right so here's this guy i got him in the right place this time and here's this guy right boop, boop. and boop, boop. Okay. we might end up doing three pots i'm not sure we're gonna try to reduce it as much as we can because we've got a lot of blackberries 
Right, we've got a lot of blackberries. I am like this elder god. I'm like a super, super viewer for sure. Now check this out. Um, here's what we pick. Now I'm closing this because it's very bright. Uh, okay, here's here's a couple of buckets of blackberries. Right. So we ended up picking. It was eight buckets. I condensed them into six buckets. So we got six buckets of these. Right. Boop, boop. We've been eating some. Okay. So these ones I'm going to put in the fridge. If we can cook these guys up too, if there's more space, we do it. We use it up. I got some. I got some blackberries in the freezer from last year. So we're going to use that up. And we're going to use up. We've got these guys as well. Here's one bowl. Here's another bowl. Here's two bowls. We're going to try to cook these up and some blackberries we have in the freezer from last year, right? Let me take a look at this. Nice stuff, nice stuff. And they're amazing blackberries. Okay. And if this was only going to be, uh, it was going to be our last pick for the season of blackberries, we would keep the two buckets. I wouldn't even consider cooking up the two buckets in the uh, in the free and uh, the fridge we just freeze some right and keep on eating some of the stuff uh, but we're gonna go picking again next week there's so much blackberries out there so we might do another cooking uh, blackberry cooking live stream um, soonish as well these are blackberries from last year right we froze a bunch of bags like this we use them up and then you know you can only eat so much blackberries we forgot about them and these are left from last year so we're going to cook these up for sure right? because when we freeze blackberries we're going to freeze some fresh blackberries from this year and these ones were really good too right? I'm looking at them to see if uh, how red or how uh, I'm gonna mix them up uh, into both bowls. Okay. There's a little bit of freezer. It's not really freezer burn, but it's you know I don't want it to give too much uh, freezer burn feel to it. The blackberries. I just want to use them up, right? They don't they don't taste freezer burny at all. Uh, because we've tasted them, right? Icono, you had none of those yesterday. In Korea, they make some wine with those. Also, back, bunji ja wine with blackberries. I've had blackberry spirits, uh, like vodka, super delicious. Blackberry wine, blackberry liqueur. We make blackberry liqueur, so super good, super good. Icono, yes, I sub back onto Twitch last night. I usually sub uh, elsewhere. Oh, really? Okay, okay. Elder God is the God of all gods. God of UK. Hello, hello, evil X. How are you doing? What are we making today? We're making blackberry jam. A dancing Nigel Chicho ha uh, has a monopoly in blackberry market. <laughs> there was so much blackberries there. So much blackberries. Right? So let's throw. I want to turn these on right away. So I'm kicking this guy up to. Let's put it on four. We're gonna put this guy up to three. Okay, we'll put the lids on there too. Let me just move this guy. It's gonna oop, get in the way. So let's put this guy here. Uh, let's bring these guys over. Let's pour these guys in. Take a look. All right. Let's do it this way so you see what's going in. I gave these guys a rinse. Okay, nice. So that's good. And let's um, let's pour more in this. Let's pour some in this. Fill this guy up. All right. So take a look. Super good. Super good. All right. Oh, that's cool. It's getting a reflection off the thing. Nice, we can cook all this. 
This will reduce and then you can kick the rest in there. Right, and throw the rest in here. And let's throw the rest in there. Boop. Nice. Very good, very good. Now hold on. Okay, let's do this for get these guys. It's a good thing I washed the counter. Or the soft top. Let me give. Uh, hmm, where's her? Oh, there it is. Let me give this a little wipe. I try to clean as I'm going to a certain degree. And let's bring this out. And we're going to run this through the mill to get rid of the seeds, right? Okay, cool. Let's do this here. This guy, I'm going to close. This guy, I'm going to pour the sugar in there. Okay. Let me put on my glasses. Let's check it out. Uh, da, 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 da. Better today. Those look so colorful. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing blackberries, Evil. Amazing blackberries. Oh, you too, Evil. You got to take off. I hope you have a fantastic uh, uh, day. I can't know how you're doing. He has a luxuriant garden. Luxuriant garden. That's a cool word, actually. Luxuriant garden. Let's check this out. Boink. Let's do this. This guy's looking good. This guy's looking good. Awesome. Awesome. So let's add the sugar to this. Okay. Before we close the lid and we give these guys a wash. After we take care of these guys. So let's put this here. Now. I'm going to put some uh, organic cane sugar in this. Okay. In the big guy, we're going to put... Three cups, three cups, three cups. Yeah, let's put three. Uh, no, let's put two and a half cups, two and three quarters. Well, this is actually a little bit more. So I'm going to put two and a half. Take a look. I'm filling up to the rim. The rim isn't really one cup. It's a little bit over one cup. So I'm going to go. Take a look. Two and three quarters. Okay. For this one, I'm going to put two, two full cups, okay? And if we need to, we can add sugar later on. And I got more sugar in bags, but this will be plenty. This will be plenty. Let's close this guy. bit of water not much just the teeniest amount so the bottom doesn't get stuck I always do this that's it right that's it nothing much because the black bears are gonna give their own uh, a lot of water uh, a lot of liquid now we've got uh, some unripened ones as well because you want to give it more pectin right so i'm going to put about three quarters of it in this one and about half of it in this one okay oh not half of it a quarter of it just add that extra pectin in it i already picked some that weren't uh, perfectly ripe uh, they were still black but they were still tart okay so that way you get the solidifying aspect of it too and we're gonna get um, gonna put one and a half lemons in this and one lemon in this okay so let's do this apologies if I'm not reading the chat well I'm not reading the chat uh, just because I want to get this done get this going on it and then we got a lot of downtime 
when we do this. I got half a lemon already cut here. Yes, you can hear it buzzing. Or what is it called? Doing that. So these are these are nice juicy lemons as well, by the way. already wash these guys right I always wash the fruits and the lemons and all that jazz so. Save, get rid of the seeds. You don't want any seeds in this. Okay. I need a spoon. Don't really want pulp or seeds. Seeds for sure, no seeds. And you can get the pulp in there, but better just to have the juice. I gotta make the text bigger. I think I'm gonna try to pop out the chat on the Twitch. in a cup that way I can use it later for tea goes amazing with tea right let's pour this one in this and once we do that we're ready to close the lid on this guy right. so Let's close this one and let it croak away. Yeah, I'm putting this one to five. Okay. Because I don't hear this guy yet. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm putting this guy to six. Okay. This is a slower burner than this one. And we're going to do one for... one lemon on this guy okay and we're gonna have two buckets of blackberries in the fridge for munching and munching on flat fresh blackberries is very good good for the body very good for the body And then once we deseat these, we're gonna mix these guys together anyway, most likely. They should all fit into one pot. Oh yeah, this one. That's so juicy. Nice. Glasses. Let's do this. Exile. Yeah, I got to uh, get some things uh, handled today. Good to see you once again. You too, as well, Evo. Hope everything goes well. 
Oh my god, I will only be here till 1 a.m. Meeting my mom in a city between us both for secret mission. Nice. Up at 8 a.m. to travel. Nice. Doing things with mom is amazing. Thanks for the heads up, by the way, all the guys. Okay, save the pulp. Cool. We're done with this guy. We're done with this guy. Let's pour this in here. Cool. And we put the lid on this guy. But before we do, I'm going to give this just a little bit of a... So nothing gets burnt. Okay. See it's steaming already, eh? Look at all the water that's already here. Blackberry juice. Check that out, right? So this is cooking. I'm going to reduce this a little bit. I'm going to put this on three. I don't want this to burn. Last time we were making plums. Uh, we made up a lot of work for ourselves because we had to uh, clean the pots, right? Let's put this here. Move this over, put the lid on. And wow, you can already smell it. It's amazing. Let's bring this up. See it steaming already. That's good. <laughs> Look at this. These are like amazing blackberries. These blackberries, me and my partner picking, uh, took us two hours to pick. Okay. Uh, so two of us working together and enjoying ourselves and eating a lot of blackberries like a lot, a lot of blackberries <laughs> when you eat a lot of blackberries uh, be be prepared you poop like a bear <laughs> okay so and it's that's why it's so good for you one of the reasons anyway right um, so it took us two hours to pick this having an amazing time outdoors and eating a lot of blackberries at the same time. Oh my gosh, Cheryl is back in the woods for another wildlife mission. Yeah, 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 she mentioned yesterday, right? Going camping. I'm just gonna give what we've dirtied up so far, just a quick wash, right? Clean up your kitchen area, make sure the sink's open. that guy later on for the jarring right in that how are you doing good evening chicho no need to ask what snacks today um as we already for uh, we we already preparing yeah blackberries i've been eating a lot of blackberries right dancing visual 
piss like a racehorse and poop like a bear. The Chicho detox diet, 100%, 100%. It's keep a body fluid, right? Make sure you're lubed up. It's, I think, basically number one rule of staying healthy. Uh, you want to be lubed up. Let me put this guy here. And get this uh, quick wipe. This guy up here, we need this guy. We got our tools close to us. Put this guy here. No kidding. Nice. Just make sure the bottom is not sticking. And you gotta keep your eyes on the jam really closely. Because once it gets going, it can all of a sudden go. Right? myself a beer I had some of the pills in there left from yesterday from Hoyne uh, and the glass is uh, kept in the freezer frosty glass it won't be as, uh, it'd be a little bit flat, but not too flat. It's pretty good. Yeah, delicious. Salud, gang. I hope you have a fantastic day. Oh, nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Let's close this up. It's very bright here. Incredibly bright. The other thing we need to do, we need to sterilize the lid tops, right? Beers, 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 salute, salute, salute. It's uh, having a last bit of uh, go at the beer season. Uh, it was been really hot here on the west coast of Canada with the serious fires and stuff going on. Uh, when it's hot, beer is amazing, right? Frosty glass. Look at this thing. <laughs> so nice. I should put another one in the fridge. In the freezer. I think I will. Let's see. Let's put one more in the freezer for the next beer. So, we also need to disinfect the lids. Right, so take a look. Look so good, so good, Elder God. I got the lids here, right? Okay, they're all going to be the small, regular size lids uh, jars that we have. I'm going to put boiling water on top of this. I'm going to put this in a double pot. Oop. Same way we've been doing before. I'm going to put water in this, boiling water in this, boiling water in this. Put it in a double pot. Put it on one of the element. Let it stay hot because we're going to be using it to uh, to seal up the uh, the jars right so you want the lid the top things to be sterile which is what we're going to do right um, so when we're making jam it goes we go through multiple phases we have a lot of work to do in one shot and then there's downtime chill time stirring right Which is basically just spending in the day um, making something that you can eat all year round. Right. Take a look at this. Right. Amazing. And the smell is phenomenal. So you make preserves, you know what you got in there. I mean, when you buy jam in a store, who knows what's in there? A lot of preservers and stuff. When you're making your own, 
the only thing that's in here is blackberries, sugar, and lemon. Blackberries that you picked yourself. Lemon is uh, usually, are these ones, they should be organic. They may not be organic. It's getting hard to get some things organic, but lemons. Okay. And um, sugar, we just use organic sugar. We don't use white processed sugar. Okay. Uh, ba, 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 baby nice. How long does uh, homemade jam last? Uh, if it's sealed properly, we've had jam that we eat after five years even right in general um, the jars when you buy the jars they say oh it seals uh, for 18 months right but we've gone way longer than 18 months way longer than 18 months in general uh, we cycle the uh, the jam so the oldest one we've eaten is probably around five years okay uh, which is plenty which is plenty. Usually we don't know. Do we have any jams that are? Uh, yeah, you know what? I have some jams that are uh, from 2016. I had some jams from 2016. Plum jams from 2016. Then last month, I they had seeds in them. I cooked them up again and took the seeds out and deseeded the jam and heated it up again and sealed it up again. Now those ones we're going to use this year. Those ones we're going to use this year in one year. So even longer than five years. Much longer than five years. No E numbers in Chicho Jam. No expiry numbers. Two years is max for centralized jam. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, it's good. It works for us, right? Yeah, if you buy jam from stores and stuff, I would, I, I do, but I don't really keep those for storage. You, you, I'm buying it just to see what it's like and I eat it. Uh, don't store it long term at all, at all. Jalan, how are you doing? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hello, Jalan. Hope you're doing well. We need this to completely break down the seeds and stuff. Right now, the blackberries are still, in, you know, full blackberries, right? Oop, take a look. We need that to break down. Get all the goodies out of it, right? You hear the sound? Look at this thing. Blackberry jam and crab apple uh, butter jam are my favorite jams to make. Blackberry, really my favorite, just because it's easy to mill. When you're picking it, you know exactly what you've got and you can do a lot of it. And it tastes amazing. And it tastes amazing. Finish dude. What's the recipe? Water and sugar? Water, uh, uh, not even water. I just put a little bit of water so the bottom doesn't stick, right? And then we'll probably reduce it, let it steam out. Okay. So the recipe is just blackberries, sugar, lemon, lemon juice, or no seeds in, from the lemon, right? Now, a lot of people that make jam, they do one to one. <laughs> one, one pound of uh, fruit and one pound of sugar that's way too sweet for my blood for my taste we do basically three to one four to one like in this whole whole pot of blackberries i don't know how many cups that were in there we put let's say three cups of sugar that's one to four maybe maybe so i like i learned from my mom we don't use as much sugar as most people do okay and people use a lot of sugar because it keeps longer but if you seal it properly it should be okay it should be okay yeah yeah it's still jams it still tastes amazing i mean here take a look this is here yours 
asking how long? This is um, blackberry and blueberry from August 2016. Right? Black, uh, blackberry, blueberry, my labels are right? from August 2016. Right? I've been eating this. It's so good. This is so good. Like blackberry and blueberry together. So good. Take a look. Right? Take a look. Now this is fairly solid. It's coming from the fridge. Right. And I probably reduced this a fair bit. You most of my jams aren't this solid, right? Amazing. Like really, absolutely amazing. Like like whoa so good so good eat it with toast eat it with yogurt eat it with pancakes right maybe nice yeah that doesn't seem uh healthy haha <laughs> blackberries are sweet on their own no need to add much sugar yeah you need to preserve it you need the, sh the sugar is a sort of a preservant right oh the god as long as since i became a chichonian <laughs> um finish dude the more you know the more you know up time 45 minutes already here's here blackberry stickiness on me here's crab apple from 2020 right the uh, applesauce crab apple fairly solid super amazing super amazing right really good okay very nice so good This is, <laughs> let me show you the jams I got in my fridge. <laughs> this is, this is fig and cinnamon from 2023, right? We had figs, so I cooked them up. Check it out. Really nice. Had, had a jar of this like three days of pancake eating and a jar of this I gotta give these guys a stir I have some plum I'll show you the plum as well I'm gonna put the lid on this, but I'm gonna put a little gap here so it doesn't all of a sudden blow, blow, broil, boil over. Okay. This one's still doing okay. This one's getting a lot hotter, it's cooking a lot more because it's become more liquidy. Okay, it's breaking down more. Seven-year-old jam. <laughs> go, go, go with apple. Go, yeah, 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 yeah. Pre-COVID. Uh, finished it. I also got a honey, uh, and it's over six years old. But things like that don't spoil. Yeah, honey doesn't spoil. You could eat honey from like decades ago if it's stored properly. Honey really doesn't spoil. It it can if you expose it to oxygen and stuff like this. But if it's closed up, honey honey is like the nat the natural preservative that from what I understand, a lot of tribes around the world have used for generations upon generations upon generations, right? Salute gang. And as Elder God points out, do not forget, do not forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange, the publisher and journalist that has been crucified 
for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity something that you we desperately need in our societies right just imagine the chaos that we've gone through just imagine what it would look like if we had transparency and accountability of capitalist power okay for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or countless resources available online salute gang to julian um baby nice but store-bought honey can spoil right it depends on the type of honey some things they label honey they're not really pure honey they had preservatives in there and stuff honey that you get like on pasteurized honey and stuff as far as i know if you store it properly it can last decades right oh my god need to add a few few of those uh, emotes over here uh from which one uh oh yeah i gotta look into adding emotes to rumble as well Here's plum jam that we made this year, right? And it's much more liquidy. Take a look. Right. And this is tart. Very delicious, though. Mm, so good. So good. So that's basically four jams that I have in the fridge that we've cooked, we've made, that I use, right? And our fridge is always has jam in it. Uh, it's one of the staples foods that I have. Take a look at this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the lid off of this for a little bit of time. Let it let it curcle, let it reduce a little bit. Okay. That way I don't run the risk of it um, boiling over. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Finish to probably some, but if you get the good honey like Chicho said uh if you store properly it won't spoil it for hundreds of years yeah that's what I've, uh, i don't i didn't want to say it but that's what i've heard as well uh somehow some have found honey that's thousands of years old yeah and still edible right and remember um it, again a lot of tribes use honey as preservatives one of the reasons i know this is uh some tribes uh, preserve uh, psychedelic mushrooms and honey so you could get psychedelic honey. I've never tried. I should make some, right? But psychedelic honey sounds amazing to me. All right, baby nights. Yeah, sometimes when I buy store honey, it stays in liquid form for a long time, which means it's not really organic. Uh, organic honey should crystallize 100%. Yeah, when I, when I didn't know this, I thought when, it, when honey crystallized, it was actually not good honey. And then I realized, no, 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 no. If it's real honey, it's supposed to crystallize, right? So what I thought when I was much younger and dumber was the exact opposite of what was real. Uh, does that ring a bell <laughs> with regarding our current societies, right? Oh, Rumble doesn't support emotes as far as I can tell. Okay, cool they will at some point guaranteed and mines is starting to allow live streaming gab allows live streaming so there's live streaming on so many different platforms now um we'll figure something out to kick it up into everything maybe right 
maybe I can't know how are you doing it is not related with the kind of flowers plants it was made no no not related it's just the honey right and like for example I would love I would love to try honey made from the Tura nectar right like I wonder what that would be like in in a world where I could do I could do anything right I would build a gigantic greenhouse with datura plants in there and grow honey there make honey there right have a lot of beehives that made honey with the nectar of datura wow I just washed this. So I'm going to put this on this so we don't get too much splatter. Okay. So we don't get too much splatter. Uh, baby Knights. Elder Gods on Rumble <laughs> commenting. Nice. <laughs> oh, you got a little thinking uh, face emote. That's cool. So there is emotes on Rumble. But it might not support um, private emotes, uh, uh, unique emotes, uh, user-generated emotes. Don't say all honey should crystallize. But Chicho uh, can correct me if I'm wrong. All good honey should crystallize. There is honey sold in stores, which isn't really honey, right? They label it. I don't. I don't even know how they're allowed to do that. To tell you the truth, right? Dancing vigil. I'm going for my Saturday morning walk and listen to Blackberry Jam. <laughs> nice. First time Chad, Serb30, salutations. If you're looking for good honey, seek out local beekeepers, 100%. That's literally the only way to avoid added syrup. Yep, 100%. Salute, salute, salute. Like there's honey sold in stores where they all they do is they feed the bees sugar water. It's not even nectar. It's not even honey from flowers it's honey from sugar water processed sugar water and most likely corn syrup right <laughs> that's like <laughs> that's taking something that's supposed to be amazing and healthy for you and turning it into pure toxin it's crazy it's crazy very weird so just basic emotes on rumble elder god okay cool good to know good to know uh, I'm assuming it should be in the works, right? Icono, it means all liquid honey are scam, or they crystallize after. They crystallize after a while. So, um, yeah, I don't have any liquid honey here. Oh, by the way, how do they get creamed honey? We ran out of the honey we've had from the local beekeepers we've been buying for a number of years because the local beekeeper they sold their operation. So I still haven't seeked out. Um, someone new local to buy from um so i went and bought from a store okay it's organic it's unpasteurized so i bought uh canadian unpasteurized organic honey but it's creamed i don't know i was meaning to look this up i don't know how they get creamed honey Oh, here we go. Serp 30. Creamed honey is made by adding crystals to fresh honey and whipping it up. And it makes that smooth texture. Okay. So they add honey crystals. Crystal, crystallized honey, I guess. That's interesting. I wonder why they started doing that. Baby nice. Fresh organic honey is in liquid form and then later crystallizes. Yeah. I Gucci F. P.S.H.E.C.H.O. I've started uh, self-studying math for my own pleasure. It's actually really fun to do. Indeed. Just thought I'd tell you because I know you like math. Indeed. Indeed. Salutations to doing mathematics for fun because it is fun. Salute. 
Salut, salut! Give this a... So it doesn't stick. This won't stick because it's very liquidy. So we're going to let it reduce. Okay, let's check out this one. This one we got to get up to speed just as much as this, right? So let's break it down. Let's break it down. Okay. I'm going to get the water ready for the, the lids. Uh, so let me do this. I'm going to try to be not make too much noise here because these guys could be loud. Merci, Andy. Uh, Icono, I like chestnut honey, but I never seen it crystallized. Chestnut honey, I don't think I've ever had chestnut honey. I'm just gonna take my tea here that's in this and put it over here. I'm gonna kick up the teapot I have here. I'm gonna put it, it's gonna be here. I'm gonna blow it on this. I'm gonna set this on boil so it boils. I wanna put the lid on it. So I don't burn my hand when I go to pick it up to pour it onto the lid so it uh, sterilizes them, right? Math, baby, nice. Yeah, studying math can be fun when you're not under pressure from school and when you choose what to learn. Yeah, indeed. And if you don't have to do repetition or again, do a hundred of these. What? Or you know, they say do ten of these or twenty of these. Crazy. I I would teach students where the school would give them like a thick booklet like this, and they need to do all of it. Like literally, I I I had students from one school, one class where the teacher would require the students to do 50 of the same operation insanity it's like taking taking the joy out of life as someone who likes teaching math and likes mathematics and loves educating really pissed me off what they were doing right yeah, that's the water boiling. Sir, I imagine it was first done as a way, this is for creamed honey, first done as a way of using up uh, that crystallized honey, adding to a fresh batch. Happy accident. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, why not? Interesting. I was hoping that it was something like, organic and natural like it wasn't some new thing they added and i looked at the ingredients and it's just honey like that's it right there's nothing else in there that's cool that's very cool to know happy accident happy accident right beast wood beast wood 95 hey chicho how you doing doing good brother or sister of course doing good beast drinking beer making jam life is good okay this water is boiled, so I'm going to turn it off, or I'm going to put it on low. I'm going to pour the boiling water on top of this to sterilize it. I already washed these, by the way. So when I buy them, I wash. I bought like 12, three packs of 12, so 30, 48, uh, uh, no, not 30, 36 jars. So take a look. That's like boiled water on top so that's sterilizing right i'm going to put the lid on it and then what i'm going to do i'm going to take the second pot the bigger pot pour the rest of the water in this and put the other pot inside it so a double pot not that the way you would do chocolate Mm, let's put this like this. Good. Then we can do this like this. 
That's good. That'll keep it hot. And then we can move this over. Put this over here. And take the lid of this guy, put it over here. Put this guy over here. Playing my Tetris. Okay, good. There's a certain point where it becomes much more liquidy. So you know it's breaking down, gone through that first initial stage. Okay. Now I've kicked this up to around seven. I gotta watch it, seven, eight, because it's gonna start crackling hard, All right? This one looks great. Uh, BB nice unrelated question. Do you filter out fluoride from your drinking water? If yes, what is the best way? Uh, our water here is not fluoridated. If it was 100% I'd be filtering it and maybe looking into moving somewhere where the water is not fluoridated. I don't we, I haven't used uh, toothpaste that toothpaste that has fluoride fluoride in it for I don't know more than two decades now right um, when I used to buy bottled water even if I do now every now and then buy bottled water if I'm out somewhere and need water you know trucking or whatever I always look in the like when you buy bottled water look in the back some of the water is has fluoride and some of it doesn't I don't buy fluoride water water with so fluoride to me as far as I'm concerned and if you do your research you know this is a toxin uh, so try to eliminate fluoride from entering your body. When I go to the dentist, I tell them no fluoride, no fluoride. I've had some dentists trying to convince me it's good for your teeth. I'm like, okay, it's good for your teeth, but it's bad for everything else. So I'll die with good teeth. F that noise, right? You don't sacrifice the rest of the body to improve your fingernails. Some people like to do that go ahead free will right dancing ritual can you add alcohol and make liqueur jam uh, I've, I've tried taking because we're gonna take the pulp of this right and you can do it I can take the pulp of this I've done this when we do the milling get rid of the seeds you can take the pulp put it in a jar and make liqueur out of it right so that's fine so for example take a look at this my mom made some, uh, took some uh, sour cherries, and there's a sour cherry dish, al bol pulo. <laughs> Persians will know this. Sour cherry dish, where you use uh, sour cherries and rice and chicken. It's super delicious, amazing, right? And she took out the seeds, and she gave these to me with some, a little bit of sour cherries in there, right? Take a look. And what I did is I added a little bit of sugar, and she you cook them up with sugar you make it like sort of a jam style for the dish uh, so i added a little bit more sugar and poured vodka so this is vodka in there so i'm making sour cherry liqueur you can do the same thing with the with the blackberries right now but fresh blackberries better than jam blackberries fresh fruit better than jam fruit okay yeah yeah, I held a god fluoride, the brain drainer. Fluoride puts a, from our stand, it messes up with the membrane between the left and the right, right? Baby nice. A lot of water filters I saw said that they filter chloride, bacteria, and other stuff, but they don't mention fluoride. Yeah, then I would look for something. I know there are filters out there that do. Uh, so you have to you have to find the right ones. Right? And lobby your local government, try to, you know, get them to stop poisoning the community. Morons. Right? Eduardo, how are you doing? Those damn commies trying to get, uh, get to our precious bodily fluids. Indeed. Indeed. Crazy stuff. Baby nice. Also, how is your teeth health when using fluoride-free toothpaste? Pretty good pretty good uh, I can when I was using fluoride toothpaste and drinking coca-cola 
I was getting cavities almost every time when I was a kid. Cavities almost every time I went to the dentist. When I stopped drinking Coca-Cola, colas, I didn't have cavities for 15 years. And at that time, I wasn't using fluoride toothpaste, right? So no fluoride toothpaste. All I did was cut out pop, Coca-Cola specifically, and I didn't have cavities for 15 years, right? So uh, that's personal experience, anecdotal maybe, I don't know, right? Other people might uh, have a different experience. Dancing vigil, blackberries and politics is here. Blackberries and politics is here. <laughs> Life. Salud, gang. We gotta get this thing perfectly. I'm surprised it's not yet. Oh, because we put the, what do you call it? Uh, frozen blackberries here, right? That's one of the reasons. A little delayed action going on. All right. And we put more in this one than the other one. Look at this. Look at this. This looks amazing. Dark, eh? Yeah, just break it down. Let it break down. And I've got the jars in the oven already, right? Like you can hear them. Right. So they're basically like this. And I've washed all these jars, right? I have two trays of these in, in, in the oven. And when the time comes, we'll turn on the oven, kick up the temperature on the jars when the jarring begins, right? Fun stuff. Hostile edgy. <laughs> Elder God. <laughs> two users. <laughs> two usernames. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Awesome. I like the whole concept of us uh, streaming on two platforms. Uh, preferably more. I'll look into it. I just. Uh, um, I, I got to look into a website where we can stream on multiple platforms the problem is if that website goes down then you can't stream on multiple platforms All right but we'll check into it we'll check into it we got rumble going which is fantastic there we go man i have to kick it up to seven to get this thing kirkling man like I'm getting older and wearing my reading glasses now the whole time just can't move around too fast to get dizzy by the way we're gonna do a comic book reading on Sunday um, I think we're gonna do a silent reading of a comic book independent comic book I just read it today it was really fun it was a good read uh, no words just imagery so it looks it, it was a good read it was a good read uh or good comic book uh heartfelt okay and the odds are we're going to read uh a manga okay uh because th th people have been asking me if i read manga and i read the random manga every now and then right and um, both of these comic books are part of the hundreds of comic books that i bought like two years ago i guess or three years ago three years ago maybe now I, this comic book store was dumping a whole bunch of comic books and they were selling them for 25 cents each so the odds are we're going to read do, those two comic books on sunday and they were both 25 cents a pop uh so and I, that's what i've been doing for the last two years just going through those hundreds of comic books that i bought plus other ones of course silence in the panels silence in the panels no words just image images uh and it's nice be, nice artwork uh I, I this comic book i've never come across before so it was my first time reading i'm like oh who's this guy uh, i haven't looked into the creator who he is and what this comic book uh, is about aside from i actually i looked it up it was only two issues from what i understand 
Uh, I have issue number two. I don't have issue number one. I might have to track down issue number one. But I have to do a little bit of research into who the, who the person is, the creator for this. Nice. Okay, we're going to leave, leave the lid off this now. Okay. Nicholas, how are you doing? What's up, Chicho? What up, chat? Hope you're doing well, Nicholas. We're making jam. Nicholas, I was thinking of you uh, last weekend. I made a ton of cuckoo and went camping. Uh, and I know you loved your cuckoo, so I hope uh, I hope you're still uh, making cuckoo as part of your uh, routine. Because I know you said you liked it a lot. Nice. This thing. I, I got to get two of these guys. Two of these guys. I got to get two of these guys. Because this is going to splatter. You know what? I'm going to put this on a... Oh, this is what I'm going to do. So all I did is take one of those skewer things and here yeah, we'll do it. No, we'll do it like this. You'll see what it's like, right? Just put it on the ledge of it, see? Just go like that. Like that, right? I'm just gonna do it here so I can keep control of it. Right? Okay, I'm gonna kick this down now. I'm kicking this down to five. Ooh. Okay. Hey, Flake, how are you doing? <laughs> A little bit of the vapor dropping onto the element. Yes. I'm going to kick up the temperature on the water we have boiling, or the water that we boil. And I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. Uh, Chicho, uh, a guy I watch in the morning streams on five plus platforms simultaneously. I will ask him what he uses. Oh, that'd be great, Elder God. That'd be fantastic. Hopefully, he's not going through just OBS. Um, if that's the case, then I have to upgrade our internet to make sure we can upload more and ask him why we're only uploading at uh, uh, lower than what we're paying for. uses a laptop yeah the laptop is okay but uh, the question is is his ISP like we, we got uh, 25 megabytes that we can upload but right now my internet speed I tested it only uploading at 16 megabytes so I have to contact the ISP figure out why we're not I'm not allowed to 
wider connection. Maybe uh, we do maybe need to upgrade the modem. So we're going to call them up and say, bring us a new modem, right? Or because, it, for example, on uh, on Rumble night right now, it shows them uploading around four to five megabytes uh, per second on Rumble. So if I only have a limit of 25, which I tested, it's only a limit of 16, I'm uploading at, let's say, four megs on Rumble, four megs on Twitch, that's using up eight megs. If I only upload four to a couple of other ones, that maxes out the megabytes, so it's gonna be lags and breaking apart, right? Um, so we don't want that to happen. I, like it, it, it uses up uses up the chunks of whatever you have, right? Nicholas Chicho, I sadly haven't had any in ages. No way, cuckoo. Uh, my workouts have taken a dive, but I am trying to get back into them. And to be honest, it's the perfect healthy meal for after workout. Yeah, it is. It's it's a complete meal, cuckoo, because uh, it has lots of greens. It's got. Uh, very little carbs it's got protein it's got fat it's got uh, minerals you can add your spices uh, salt and stuff uh, so for me it's a perfect meal uh, it's a complete meal I could uh, I could function on cuckoo for a long time right uh, so I hope you get back into it it takes a little bit of effort the washing of the greens and stuff takes a little bit of an effort right but I like it. It's per it's amazing camping food. Amazing camping food. Alright. So that person, Elder God, that is um, live streaming on a laptop and live streaming on five different platforms at the same time. If he's going through OBS, if he's directly live streaming to each of the platforms, then you know if he's if he's uploading four megs on each. That's 20 megabytes that he's using up his bandwidth to upload to each one separately. So he, I doubt it if he's functioning on 25. He needs to have like maybe uh, fiber. That means his upload speed is infinite, really. Uh, we don't have fiber here. We don't have fiber here. Or he might be going through a, another platform. So live streaming, directing uh, the live stream to a single website. And then that website is branching it off to the five platforms. And if he's doing that, it'd be great to know uh, which one it is. Now we got keep keep rotating between a second platform, I guess, uh, depending on the topic of stream. Yeah, possibly, possibly we could do that as well. Uh, he's in uh, Philadelphia. Uh, he's in Philadelphia streaming Philadelphia, so East Coast um, or East. Yeah, I guess East Coast, Eastern part of uh, the United States. I'm not sure what the infrastructure will be there. Nicholas, yeah, uh, to be honest, the dedication of making it and meal prepping will help motivate to eat better again. Yeah, yeah. That's one thing I, uh, I noticed myself is when I started cooking heavy, uh, I just started eating healthier. I felt healthier. Uh, any compliment when I was working out, I haven't been working out for a while, uh, for a few months, I got pulled out of it. Uh, <laughs> Nicholas, so I know how you feel, I gotta get back into it. But when I'm working out, I even eat healthier than I usually do, right? Nice. Good, good, good. Break down, break down, break down, break down. I need to put uh, these guys on the on the tops here now. It's getting hot. That one doesn't have. It's getting hot. It's getting hot. Streamlabs, okay. I I know Kick it directs to a website that's saying stream through there. I just thought I would stream directly or through OBS, and it's not working out. So I'll look into Kick to see which one which platform they're using. And I do have a Streamlabs account. I just haven't used it for a long time. I know the, the, uh, the what do you call it? Uh, 
the chat and the notification thing goes through Streamlabs, I'm pretty sure anyway. Nice, these are breaking down now. Very good, very good. Wouldn't mind beginning milling these guys. Yeah, we'll let this guy crackle. We'll let this guy crackle. While we pour ourselves another beer. Elder God, I cook meals in batches of eight. What do you mean batches of eight? Like for example, when I make cuckoo, I make a lot of cuckoo, eat it for three days, plus little side things of different things, maybe meats and eggs and even salad. Uh, little bit of carbs and stuff. Ah, delicious. I'm gonna get the other frosty glass, give this one a little rinse, wash. Before I do any cook like this, um, I empty out the dishwasher. Make sure you got an empty dishwasher where you can pop things in. Right. Icono. Just Google uh, restreams or multi stream. You probably have to pay for this kind of service. Really? Okay. Dancing Mojo finally warmed up on my walk. It's cold in the shade. Is it already? Wow, wow, wow. It's pretty warm here. Oh my god. He streams on Twitch, Rumble, Kick, Orbi, I don't know, Orbi, Odyssey, Facebook, wow, YouTube, Pill, thanks. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a lot of platforms. And the chat, the chat must be manageable. myself another beer game let's go dark matter another frosty glass Delicious, very delicious. Salute game. Cheers. Very nice. It's got a little bit of a coffee taste right now. That's weird. Never, never noticed the coffee. A little bit of flavor very cool chicken broccoli and nice in my first set followed by beef mash and green beans in a gluten-free gravy nice that sounds delicious man I feel like a steak now Let the 
this be like this? Okay, let me take this off. Put this guy here. And we're gonna switch this up. We're gonna mix this. Nice. This is breaking down nicely now. I'm gonna put this guy on here because that's going higher. It's crippling a lot more. Do we need this? Yeah. Let's keep this here for now. such a healthy meal to be honest yeah yeah chicken broccoli Nicholas mentioned chicken broccoli uh, uh, rice super delicious dancing visually boiling water is helping me feel more nice <laughs> I should have to kick off that one a little bit too I'm just kicking off the water not these guys the look on this is amazing too right on the oven because we got the glass in there we got to heat it up right I'm kicking up the oven to 350 right apologies about the fan noise but it is what it is right so oven at 350 and then I'm gonna kick it down to 300 right uh, at the same time I'm gonna kick up the water for the lids the temperature for the water for the lids because we're going to start using them pretty soon. 8.30 a.m. right now where you are. Dancing Vigil. So you're... 8.30 a.m. You're like 16... New Zealand? Australia? Dancing vis Vigil. You're Australia? No. Where are you at? Salute to people who are... 8, 8.30 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> it's 3.30. Tokyo, Tokyo, all the guys saying Tokyo. Australia, Australia. I don't know if Australia and Tokyo are the same time zone. Salut, salut. Yeah, you're in the winter right now. That's right. That's why you're cold. It's not that it's cold summer. You're in the winter season right now. That's right. That's right. taste it so this is boiling hot right now well, I'm not gonna taste it I'm gonna put it in the freezer let it cool down I just want to taste to see what the sweetness is like okay. uh, I don't think we're gonna add any more sugar it should be fine but just in case salute I 
bloody pins. What are pins? That one continue to cook. I've reduced this guy down to two now. Okay. Oh yeah, this is tomorrow's stream, gang. Okay? Tomorrow we're gonna do mapping out global conflicts part seven. Saturday, August 19th, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. PVT. Let's continue mapping out world conflicts and discuss the results. There's a lot going on in the world. There's a lot going on in the world. Right? Thanks, Elder God, for a reminder. So, if you're into politics, geopolitics, uh, you probably want to be here uh, tomorrow at 3 p.m. PST, PDT, West Coast, Canada, United States time whatever time that is for you it'll be 8 a.m. for <laughs> for Australia right uh, and uh, we'll talk politics we'll talk geopolitics Just stirring this, you can feel that the blackberries are settling now. Right? So it's broken down. And right now is really important to stir it so it doesn't get stuck in the bottom. You didn't stick. Right? Hostabak, first time chat, salutations. Salutations, welcome to our live stream. We're making some delicious blackberry jam. Salute. Seeing visual Zach Sputnik. <laughs> that is Russian. I don't read I don't read Russian. So maybe that's what it says, Zigzag Sputnik. I have no idea. But welcome to our live stream. I hope you're doing well. As soon as we taste the what I put in the freezer, make sure the sweetness is good. We're gonna start doing the milling. Okay. And one thing you wanna do when you're stirring this, make sure you get the edges of the pot. Okay. Don't just stick in the center. Make sure you get the edges. Sometimes you get a little bit of stickiness there, right? Delicious. Let's put this guy back. I'm gonna, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the space where we're gonna put the jars away on the side here. Last time my mom uh, watched uh, us making plum jam and she was like, no way you should carry it from here to over there because what happens if the jar cracks, breaks in the middle, you'll get hot jam all over you, burn, and it'll make a mess. So you don't want to carry, after jarring, you don't want to carry it too far. Okay, so keep that in mind. He's saying you're awesome. Thank you very much, Hostalak. Salute. Welcome to our community. <laughs> that was a good comment on a first time chat. Thank you. Is the blackberry jam. The smell of this is amazing, by the way. Must taste the jam in the freezer. And a word I don't recognize. Friend, maybe. Cool. He said, Grandpa, you're cool. Haha, thanks. <laughs> I like that even better. <laughs> thanks, grandson. 
for the record though, no kids, no grandkids. That's why uh, I got a gigantic smile on my face. <laughs> First time chat, six or four hour laughing at my ass off, in my humble opinion. Salute. I am, no, I am laughing my ass off. My ass. Oh man, I can't remember what I am. <laughs> What's that for now? Jeez. Oh, Chicho, why won't you have a little Chicho? Oh man, I'm too too selfish for to raise a child. That's, I decided that a while ago. Initially, I wanted, when I was younger, I wanted a lot of kids. I wanted 11 kids to have a soccer team, football team. And as I got older, I said, okay, maybe volleyball. And I got older, okay, maybe just a tennis player. <laughs> that was like, what am I, crazy? <laughs> Hell no. I just want Chicho, man. Chicho time, that's it. A salute to the selfish people in the world that know they are selfish and they shouldn't be, uh, they have no desire to become a parent. Paul Weller would love this stream. Paul Weller, I don't know who Paul Weller is, but I'm glad he would love it. Gen Genghis Khan, 233, just by a, a Tamagotchi, <laughs> that's like a kid. <laughs> those are those Japanese things though. Hilarious. Talking, talking little dolls. Cheers, Chicho. Cheers. Uh, sex or for our salute, salute. <laughs> Perfect. This is looking great. If this was a little bit less, I'd combine them right now. But it's not. So we've got to mill these separately. love to combine these. Will I be able to combine these? I don't think so. Maybe, maybe. You know what? I'm gonna try to combine these and then mill them. Okay. So, let's do this. Let's kick this over. Let's put this here. Let's bring out this guy and transfer this guy. So we're gonna do this. Whoop. Make the milling easier. Combine. I'm not gonna pour it because I don't want the splatter all over me. This thing is hot and sugar, hot sugar burns, sizzles your skin. So you gotta be careful with jam gang. Really. Oops. A little bit of spillage. Sorry about that. 
Okay, noisy, noisy, noisy. Okay, I'm gonna kick this down. I'm kicking this guy down. Okay. We're kicking it down to two. Just make sure the bottom doesn't stick. I love you, Chicho Elder God, with big plastic eyes. <laughs> Quotes. <laughs> Dancing visual. Paul Weller of the Jam. Chicho is jamming at 406. Indeed. When I used to play drums, one of the best things I loved was just jamming with a bunch of musicians. You just play it just like jazz style. If I was good enough to play jazz, I would have played jazz, but my skills weren't good enough for jazz. I was straight up rock and roll. Was simple rock. Well, within reason. I learned how to play Rush. That was good. I'm turning this element off because I'm about to put this jam on top of it and set us up and we're going to mill this guy. We're mill the jam here first. Look at the color on this, eh? Amazing color. Amazing color. Let's put this guy here. Need this guy. Let's scrape off the size of this. This is some goodies. Cool. I'm gonna set up the miller. Oh. Yeah. Let's put this here. Kick this low. Let's give this another spin to make sure it's not sticking in the bottom. That's the oven kicking to 350, okay? Now, the miller, I put the small sieve on here, right? The smallest one we got. That should prevent the seeds from coming out. Here's the other two sieves that we have, right? So this one is the smallest one. You might get a couple of random seeds kicking in there, but we shouldn't. Okay, I've used this before, so it's fine. Set this up properly. Good. Now, oh God, I can confirm this with at least ten burn incidents with uh, jol with Roly Poly. Ro what's up, a Roly Poly? But yeah, sugar, hot sugar, Oof. hot sugar. It's like napalm or something. It's crazy. Marcus Magpie. You making these jams is reminding me of my nan. She made her own jams. On the weekend as a child, I would pick the berries with her. Nice. Miss her dearly. Miss her rhubarb pies to Oh, gang. Marcus Magpie, salute to the memory of your mom. That's an amazing memory to have, right? I hope you share it with others. Go, go pick berries with friends and family and make your own jams as well salute Plutorino salutations this is too delicious okay let's actually before we mill this oops before we mill this guy let me do a another spin on this so the bottom doesn't stick We've kicked it to low too, so it shouldn't. Okay, we're just keeping it hot until we get to the milling. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna mill this guy. And we need this to be able to mill it. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kick the oven down to 300. It's gonna be bu buzz right away because it's already at 350. And we're gonna pour this into this. Mm. 
Look at the color on this, eh? Beautiful, beautiful. Let me do this. any of this. This is goodness. Nice. Okay, now we can pour water on this and mill this guy. Nice. Every now and then you go the other way to clear up, clear up the holes. Oh, you couldn't eat jam, dancing visual. You couldn't eat jam because of the seeds. Yeah, yeah, some people, uh, I know they can't eat the seeds. I just eat the seeds and poop like a bear, like I said. Blackberries, that's what they do. So, can't you eat the uh, dancing visual? You don't eat blackberries or anything? Do you eat blackberries? Or any berries? Look at all those seeds. So if you ate that much, just a handful of blackberries, that's the seeds that goes through you, right? No, okay, that's good. Let's get rid of it. Wasn't the juicy buddy. The jam must flow, the jam must flow. I can eat them now, as well as uh, the crust on my bread nice nice i know uh, some people can't eat seeds right because uh, it messes up their system right and according to some like uh, cliff high we shouldn't be eating seeds anyway for me berries have seeds it's important to eat so I don't agree with them on that front to a certain degree uh, but it is hard on the digestion it could be hard on the digestive system right. I'll show you this after it's milled well we got a little bit here I'm gonna show this to you let me move this guy need this guy right here for now now we're gonna bring this and I'm going to dump the pulp in this. All right. So, take the pulp and dump it in here. Take a look, Here, I'll do a spoon. And just peel it off this. Take a look. Right. So this doesn't have any seats. Right. This doesn't have any seats. Mmm. Very nice very nice so let's do this we're just gonna mill it mm -hmm. bring this guy over a little bit so we're able to mill properly let's give it a spin just got to be careful we don't get any seeds in the mill 
product. Right? Careful. <laughs> it's like sweet corn, that one God says. They come out exactly the way they, they they come they come out exactly the way they go in, yeah. And seed spores are very resilient. Like mushroom spores can survive outer space right? visually I don't like the texture sensory thing I guess yeah I know people that don't uh, they don't like they don't eat the uh, uh, jams with seeds in them right especially blackberry blackberry seeds are pretty hard still don't like the texture of the seeds yeah really Alago says sesame seeds are in the top 10 allergy list really I like sesame seeds on salads and stuff. When it's liquidy, you could go the other way and just get the liquid to do that. This is gonna make this pulp. We're gonna put it in a big jar and then pour water in it, and it'll make blackberry juice, uh, like drink. Tastes amazing. We did it with the plums, and it's super good. I'll show you once we're uh, we're done. The last thing we do. One of the last things we do. salutations are no seeds going into the yeah no seeds are going inside so we're milling it right we're milling it through here through a sieve the sieve this is like a bigger sieve so it's a smaller sieve I'm gonna turn this off smaller sieve than this so it captures the blackberry seeds right? so it's gonna be a smooth jam so we don't have a spillage over just gentle at first juice it up juice it up got it sweet yeah that way it's like smooth I 
actually what I'm gonna do is give the bottom part a little spin just make sure it's not sticking to the bottom I got the element turned off on it okay that's good the element was turned off on it I just wanted to make sure it wasn't sticking can go more. Individual made it to the cafe. Coffee time, nice. Now we got it's about three months until auction time. Maybe Jam might be on the price. Oh, for sure, Jam will be on the price price list. Uh, our prize list. Uh, oh my God, we're gonna have the plum jam. We're gonna have blackberry jam, and we'll see what it. And we're gonna have uh, the. Uh, will we have pickles? Pickles are pretty big. The jars, um, but we'll have jams. We're gonna have uh, so far plum jam, blackberry jam, and uh, what other other jam we end up making. Shut, shut done. I bet you could dye your beard <laughs> with that so easily, probably. But I'd rather not. I've had a long time with black beard hair. Now it's time to go white beard hair. That's enough trying to get the meat out of that. The pulp. This is how much pot we got so far. Nancy Magella, I have to add a uh, craving for jam on that toast for breakfast, not nights. C 
six over for you. Uh, nice. How do you do your auctions? Uh, Twitch points. So I basically hold something up. So anybody that's got Twitch points, you don't, you know, you might want to save them until the auction. So basically I hold something up like a jar of blackberry jam that we've live streamed on, right? So you know exactly what it is. Um, and then we say, okay, start bidding. And people start bidding, saying how much, how many Twitch points they're willing to uh, pay for uh, that, whatever it is, maybe a Blackberry Jam or a signed copy of uh, Tamara Lich's book or Mermaid Publications comic books or any other comic books or uh, rotten to the core trading cards. Mine is the Donald Trump rookie card and the rest is pretty good too. Uh, or drug war trading cards or whatever we hold up. And the person that bids the highest wins it. And then you redeem the points and you PM me your address and I send it to you. And we've done it for three years and this will be three or four years now. And this will be either the fourth or fifth year that uh, we're doing this uh, with. And it's super fun. Last year we gave away record from a local Jesse. Uh, oh man, what's his name? We still have to listen to that record, by the way. And anything that I, you know, if I buy something for myself as a collector, if I can get multiple copies at a good price, I auction, you know, we, we get those for you guys. And one of them was uh, Jesse Stewart, I think, was a BC musician that I bought the, you know, he passed away, unfortunately. Bought his album and auctioned off his album and t-shirt. And the album now you can't even find anywhere. That is very expensive. Do you know how much? How about Graham? Do you know much about? I know a little bit about Graham Hancock. Yeah, Ark to Mule for sure. Who doesn't know about Graham Hancock? You gotta know about Graham Hancock. Sex or for our? Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, it's a great way to give back to the community for my end, right? <laughs> 60 67 thousand k on the jam it's the fourth year we're doing it oh my god awesome awesome that's good uh gang what i need to do because this is take a look this is all full up right so i need to give that pot a wash that we put there and then transfer this over there and then keep on milling but i need to i drank beer i need to take a little pit stop break i'll be right back okay i'll be right back glasses 
Da, da, da. I watch all the VODs and rarely make it to a live stream, so I'm lacking on channel points. Oh no, you gotta build up your channel points, brother. <laughs> Six or I'm gonna save up for the hallucinogenic honey. Ha <laughs> ha. I got one day, one day. If I can get the funds together, we get the land together, I'm gonna have a greenhouse. Like I said, greenhouse, the tour plants, maybe other plants <laughs> have bees in there that are happy bees and making us happy honey. Whew. We'll auction that stuff off. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Uh, let me do a little wash. Bring the pot here, okay? here let's transfer this guy here oh, I gotta wipe off the, this guy just get the bottom of this I can go rest here for a second. Just gotta balance it out. Hey, okay, that's good. Take a look at this. Let's give this guy a spin. Let's give this guy a spin. Oh yeah, this is looking fantastic. This is looking fantastic. Okay, let's put that there for now. Let's move this and put this that has no seeds on it over here. I'm gonna put this in the freezer and let it cool down and taste it. Oh, it's not as bright as uh, before in there. So, let's bring this over. Trying to do this with minimal splatter. Awesome. Good stuff. Good stuff. Look at that. That looks amazing. That looks amazing. Let's just transfer that. Let's get back into the Let me give this a little wipe. Good stuff. Bring this guy over. Good stuff. Bring this guy over. Good stuff. Let's have a sip of beer. Good stuff. Salute, gang, to making jam.
dancing ritual i bring my wife home a fresh coffee and gives me a basket of washing to hang in return <laughs> Hilarious. Availability. How are you doing? Chicho, hard at work with these two hour cooking streams. Oh, this is going to be a longer two, longer uh, cooking stream. These cooking streams, my cooking streams usually last uh, anywhere between three and the longest one we've had, I think was either six hours, five and a half hours or six and a half hours or something. So the cooking streams end up being longer, which is fine with me fun stuff fun stuff nice nice We're going to make a lot of blackberry jam today with this. very difficult to do it backwards on this spin it with the left hand the rhythmic of it the rhythm of it is very difficult oh my god i remember the madness of the 2020 auction people try to send their points to the stream <laughs> to get items <laughs> the button freezing was it i remember people were redeeming points as they were bidding i'm like no 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 don't redeem that you gotta win it before you redeem it that was funny that was fun though we got a really good rhythm going on there. I mean, we gave away, we've given away first appearance of uh, Carnage, first appearance of Bishop, uh, first appearance of uh, a few different characters in comic books. One person won the first appearance of Carnage, first full appearance of Carnage. Amazing Spider-Man 361, right? Sent the comic book. I said it was a 9.4. Like I said, okay, 9.4. He sent it to CGC. <laughs> the comic book came by graded. And then he sent it to me as a gift. I forget who it was. Sure know the name. I'm bad with names, man. I was amazed. I was like, oh, dude, what? Like, he spent a fair bit of points getting the comic. And the comic itself was, it's dropped a little bit in price, but it's a fairly expensive comic. A few hundred bucks. And then he sent it to me, and we did an unboxing. And CGC graded a 9.6. So it was like, oh, snap. Yeah, that was amazing. That was super cool. That was very cool. 
I forget who it was. Whoever it was, if you're here, uh, please. I wrote it down on, on the CGC on a little note. Uh, please let me know again. Remind me. Okay. No, it wasn't X, Elder God. It wasn't X. It was, uh, it was someone else. X is uh, from Sweden, the, I believe. This was uh, someone in uh, Eastern US, I believe. Super cool to do, super cool to do. Oh yeah, let's taste the jam. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, the texture on this is super good. Fantastic texture. Take a look. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. It is sweet. It's on the sweet side. Okay. Whoever that was, they're the epitome of building a respectable community. 100%. 100%. Super cool. Like at the time, 9.6 CGC graded uh, Amazing Spawner 361 would be selling for like, I don't know, 300 bucks US, 350 US or something. Nicholas, been a great stream, Chicho. We'll catch the rest tomorrow and hopefully make the politics stream. Peace, gang. Peace, Nicholas. Hope you have a fantastic evening. Don't forget to make cuckoos. almost to the end first time chat and do eight nine zero zero seven looks really good jam and I'm uh, Neil uh, been lurking at times hope everyone is doing well hope you're doing well as well Neil salute and first time chat thank you for lurking <sighs> mr. design cooks oh wow I haven't seen one of these machines in a while yet <laughs> Old school, old school. They're the best. Amazing instrument, really. Million. Eduardo Chicho, if your house was on fire and you could only save one comic book, which would it be? Which would it be? Uh, which would it be? Uh, I would grab I would grab the frame copies of the EC comic books that I have. There's six comic books that I have that are framed, and they're all EC comics from 1952, and they're horror comics, horror and sci-fi comics, all of them from 1952. Some of them are Canadian editions, and they're in really good shape. So. That, I would grab that. So it's not one comic, it's six comics. 
and they're hanging on the wall it'd be straight up uh, but I hope my house the, the place doesn't catch fire uh, because I would lose computers I would lose everything and there's you know a lot of houses that are catching fire and I hope storage doesn't catch fire Mr. Design Design Cooks Cooks I uh, love Blackberry Jam You live on a farm Nice I want to have a farm one day Like a mini farm Like personal Lots of fruit trees I love Blackberry Jam We picked a lot of blackberries A lot of Here Watch this Like three days ago We went Picked eight of these buckets condensed them into six and we're making the jam out of those right now these are for eating we're gonna go next week and make more and they're amazing jams amazing blackberries i mean look at this looks so good so good All right We've got a lot of blackberries here. Washing, hung, and black battery low. Oh no, thanks for the chat, Chicho. Hopefully come back soon. Awesome dancing, Israel. I hope you have a fantastic evening. And good job on uh, hanging, uh, washing the clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Design Cooks. I have original ECs for sure. I collect comic books. I love my comic books. We've done readings of original EC comic books. Comic book readings. Oh, Tales of the Crypt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have Tales of the Crypt. <laughs> You're in the right spot. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> If you like comic books and EC comic books, 100%. Every now and then I can still get my hands on some uh, EC comic books. We do some EC comic book buys. We have a sugar with some oats and I'm, I'm said, yeah, 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 for sure. Blackberry jams. So versatile. It's so good with everything. With everything. We're going to be doing, by the way, Mr. Design Cooks, we're going to be doing uh, a comic book reading on Sunday. No EC Comics. We're going to do a couple of independent comic book readings. One of them, most likely, is a silent issue. I've read it. I just read it today. It was really good. And another one is uh, manga. People have been asking me to do a manga reading. So we're going to do a manga reading. We're going to read we're going to read Lum number 1 from 1980 mid 1980s. Entertaining comics. Uh, EC Comics. It it didn't used to stand for entertaining comics. Mr. Design Cooks, it stood for educational comics at first, right? So EC Comics originally was educational comics because they were mainly educational books. And then um, Gaines, I believe it was Gaines, um, Gaines Sr. Uh, passed and his son took over, Gaines uh, Jr. And uh, it became entertaining comics, right? They made a lot of old school horror stories. Indeed, some of the greatest comic books ever published. Right, and then the Comic Code Authority came in, censorship came in, and they killed the company. Though, mm, not good. Makes me angry thinking about it. Adramadas, how you doing? We got tales from uh, 
uh, we got the Crypt Keeper from EC. Nice. I think it's Tales from the Crypt 33 is the first appearance of the Crypt Keeper. And the side. Salute, Chicho. I appreciate all your cooking streams, but the one where you were jarring honey was the best one in my opinion will you do it again and if you, you for sure if i can get a uh, hold of a beekeepers locally that i can buy a ton of honey again we've got actually three jarring honey videos i made one in the kitchen maybe two in the kitchen but i got three uh honey jarring videos uh, but I, I'm pretty sure I know the one you're talking about. It's the one that a lot of people love. Uh, but for sure, if uh, once, it's not if, once I find beekeepers locally that are willing to sell unpasteurized honey to me, uh, we're going to buy a whole bunch of uh, <laughs> uh, containers full of honey and jar more of them. For sure, for sure. Almost to the end of this. And then we're going to give this a wash. Man, I almost I have to transfer it. I don't think we'll be able to do all of this. Mr. Design. Huge part of the 80s kids life. Kids life. Yeah, 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 for sure. Eduardo, what did they do to piss uh, piss off the sun? Oh man, some this this person, uh, scientist, wrote a book called uh, "Seduction of the Innocent." It was a com. It was a book that basically took adult comics because remember this is the 1930s, 40s, 50s, where there is you know people don't have television in their homes, right? So how do you get your entertainment? There's children's entertainment there's adult entertainment the teenager entertainment so there was a lot of comic books being published that were geared towards adults romance comic books horror comic books science fiction comic books so this person wrote a book about how adult comic books were polluting children's minds wrap your head around that right the hysteria and then there was government hearings and the government threatened the comic book industry with hardcore censorship so comic book industry decided to censor themselves come up with the comic code authority which basically got a whole bunch of people to read comic books and censor them right so they weren't allowed to mention werewolves um uh, a whole bunch of things they, they weren't able to they weren't able to do a whole bunch of things in comic books anymore right so what that did if those comic books didn't have that stamp of approval of censorship then they couldn't be sold in certain major outlets so that killed the industry they killed independent publishers some of the greatest stories ever told right some of the stories that hollywood is making movies of right now okay uh like the crypt keeper right? tales from the crypt that's ec comic books there's tv series made of it in the 1980s right 1990s there's still movies stories being told based on the books the stories they wrote meanwhile they censored it so they destroyed ec comics it's crazy it's like all censorship right oh man i gotta transfer this this isn't gonna work it's already touching it. So we've got to do one more transfer into the big pot. I'm just going to transfer a little bit over so there's enough room and then we'll transfer the whole thing. Oh, did I 
use that spoon to transfer that? No. Oh, I hope I didn't. Anyway, let's do this. No, no, no. We did it like this. Okay, this one I can't do like that. So, I'm going to use... Um, I don't want to use that. Do we have a spoon? Okay, I'm going to use this. Okay. Because I just need to make a little bit of more space. <laughs> Look at this. Amazing. Okay, we can put this here. We can transfer this guy over. And bring this guy back. Let me give this another wipe. Okay. Good stuff. Sorry, I'm not reading the chat, gang. Just got to take care of business. No. Here's the kicker with this. This stuff we can't just get rid of. This is like fruit roll-ups ultimate. Look at this. Look at that. This is like amazing stuff. Because we do have to wash this thing. Mm. Mm, very good. Okay. Let's take this a wash. Mill this, because we're gonna have to transfer everything into that one. The big one. Yeah, and then DC in the 1980s. The original Ghost Rider died from it. And thus began warning labels because parents weren't smart enough to look at the ratings in the comics. Yeah. Indeed. Are you talking about the Ghost Rider, the Western Ghost Rider, or Ghost Rider uh, in Marvel Spar Spotlight number 5 from Marvel Comics? Because if we're talking about the Marvel Comics one, we read that comic book, the first appearance of Ghost Rider. Before, by the way, before Batman uh, in the 1980s did the violence, um, the Dark Knight and stuff, Amazing Spider-Man number 97, 98, 99 weren't comic book. Uh, code of, approved. Those were the only Amazing Spider-Mans from that period that weren't comic book uh, code approved because they were relating uh, to drugs or something, gangs or something like that. And I should have those in my collection.
Yeah, we fought the oven going for a long time now. Too long. Too long. Okay, now this is perfect. We can put this guy here. Doop. Okay, I need to wash that pot. That way we can bring it over and transfer, right? So let me do a quick little wash. Kitty cat. Yeah, you want outside? That's Via. Okay, come on, let's go. Go on. Chup, chup. I can't pick you up right now. I'm doing cooking. Okay, don't want out? Come on. I know you want out. Go on. Let's just walk up. Okay. Let's transfer this over. Ready? Look at this. this guy over This is the one that's not CD. So we put this here, we're gonna use it. This is the one that was CD. We're gonna have to wash this anyway, so. And we can retire it. So good, oh my God. Very delicious. Hmm. 
this guy we don't need. Let's put that guy there. This guy. Kitty cats. Okay. We're going to bring this here. We're going to turn this up. I can take down this guy, this camera, because we don't need it anymore. Let me take this one down the right side. Is that the one? Doink. Yep. Doink. Perfect. Actually, took on the wrong one. I want to take this one down. Doink, doink. Nice. There's the kitty cats. They're both there, actually. The other one's down here. So, we're gonna kick up the temperature on this. I gotta do a little bit of washing. I gotta wash the lid, bring the lid here, and we're gonna let this cook off. We're ready to start the drawing process. Okay. So. Let's do this. I gotta wash the lid first, make sure there's no seeds on it. Uh, actually, I'll wash the pots first. Okay. position. I'm from Canada. I'm just reading the last line. Let's bring these guys we don't need. Actually, let me wash this guy first. Wash these guys because they're the CD stuff, right?
this needs to be eaten. Sal, how's it going? Here's the pulp. All right. We got this much pulp out of the two pots, right? And this we can take care of right now. As soon as beer, I'm gonna do a little pit stop. I'll be right back. Sal, what's going on? Sal, what you doing? Oh, here we are. Sal's still there. Sal, you being a good kitty cat? You got lots of food. We're gonna put one more glass in the freezer to get the get it nice and frosty we got this thing going good stuff now we need to set ourselves up again we're in the final stage good good let me give this a little wipe Sunny there or snowy? It's sunny. 
It's we're in summertime in Canada. Can you make a cake with it? Kind of uh, bread cake with the pulp. Uh, with that, see, this is uh, this isn't just pulp. It's seedy. Lots of seeds in it. So I'm gonna make. Uh, you can make liqueur with it. I'll show you right now. We'll do some right now. Okay. Uh, but actually, no. I'm not gonna make liqueur. I'm gonna make uh, juice with it. So put it in a jar. Pour water. Shake it up. Put it in the fridge. You have got blackberry not drink blackberry drink so super delicious okay i see cats yeah making uh, blackberry jam this is we've cooked it up right now we're gonna heat it back up again and then we're gonna start the jarring process and we de-seeded it we got rid of the seeds so I just have to stir it every now and then. Okay. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna kick up the temperature on the lids a little bit more. Okay. Chicho, what is uh, that round thing uh, in the back? The round thing? Oh, that's the kitty cat pooper. The kitty cat's like a spaceship. See the steps? Our kitty cats are civilized. See, <laughs> this is Sal, right? They walk up the steps, they go into their spaceship, they do their business, they come out, the spaceship recognizes that somebody did their business, and within five minutes, it goes, does a little rotation, cleans itself, and comes back in and is ready to go. And their business goes in the bottom, and once a week or something, you empty it out, and... Uh, once every four days or so you empty it out and uh, it's done it's super good like really i'm not into scooping i don't scoop stuff that's my partner's business right i play with the kitty cats i like the kitty cats <laughs> sounds yawning <laughs> they just woke up they just woke up you ever make uh, cactus fruit jelly no i've never made i've never made uh, what was I gonna do? I'm gonna pour myself the rest of the. What you guys want? Yeah, what you want? Hmm? Yeah? Sal, what's the scoop with you? You guys want some dental stuff? Let me give you some dental food. Hold on. Let me pour myself the rest of the beer. And then I'm gonna give you guys some dental food. I'm gonna finish off the. Whoop, the dark ale. The. dark matter right delicious okay come on let me give you guys some munchies Let's make the blackberry juice. <laughs> That's some serious food tech. It is indeed. <laughs> Eduardo. My partner looked into it. Southern Gamer. Salutations. I just met this guy and I want to eat at his place. Oh, I could give you some really, feed you some really nice food. Really. We do good cooking videos. I'm kicking this up slowly. I'm going to increase the temp a little bit. Okay. I'm going to kick it up to three. While we're doing that, let's make our juice. So, jar like this. 
let's transfer the seeds in there and we could probably get like five iterations out of this right i'll show you so you see as well it up a notch more. Let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. There we go. That should do. Mm -hmm. Let's put this on it because we don't want that to rotate too much. That's good. Yeah. It's still hot, that's why it's steaming. Right? It's got still pop on it, it's got flavor on it, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get that flavor out of there into the water and have blackberry drink and it's very refreshing let's get the rest of this You do this, close this up, right? So it's got the pulps and stuff floating there. You let it sit, the pulp uh, and the seeds, the pulp, some of it floats, but the seeds settle down and you got blackberry drink right there. You put it in the fridge so you can drink it. Okay. Maybe it'll settle uh, towards the end of the stream and I'll show you what it's like. And it's super delicious. Super delicious. I have some from the plum that we made last time. This you can drink the whole thing there's no seeds right this is from the plum jam we made like two weeks ago so it keeps in the fridge a long time and it's plum flavored drink right it's really refreshing for the summer Let me 
some spillage. I wasn't paying attention, but there you go. Sunny. Now this is tart because the plum jam we made was tart, but it's super delicious. Fantastic, really. So you're making your own jam, you're making your own uh, drink, uh, fruit flavored drink. Uh, so super good. Uh, for the summertime, it's amazing. The blackberry uh, drink <laughs> is, is fantastic, really. It, it's super good. It's one of the things I look forward to in the summer. And this juice, uh, the drink, uh, should be good in the fridge for a couple of weeks, two, three weeks, three weeks max, right? And then, see? I could add more water, but I'm not going to. Because uh, it's a nice flavor. I like the flavor on it. I don't want to dilute it anymore. Okay. Southern Gamer. My grandma was jarring jelly and I love her jelly. And I was gonna grab one like I was um, taking it and they, and they tried to stop me because it was scal oh yeah, scalding hot, but I had my hand on it oof it hurt but i didn't tell them oh no yeah yeah hot we talked about this hot uh, jam sugar hot sugar it's it's uh you'll sear your skin off I'm gonna kick down the temperature on this on 275. We started the, the oven way too early, way too early, right? A stream box set, <laughs> oh my god. Caf, Cafoni, how are you doing? What's up, Chicho? Oh my god, six hours, uh, 34 minutes is the longest cooking. Is it six hours and a half? Six hours, 34 minutes. Okay, good, good, good. Long. Making 18.5 uh, liters of gram of butter. <laughs> That was awesome. 18.25 liters of grab out butter. Nice, all I got. Time for me to sleep. My mom will not expect me to be tardy. Awesome, all I got. Thank you very much for being here. Sweet dreams, brother. Sweet dreams. Salute, salute. Salute, salute. The fun stuff. Fun stuff. Awesome. Awesome. Doop. So, we're going to start jarring soon. We need, I just need this to heat up, right? But we're good to go. Okay. We're going to stick this in here. So, sterilize this. This is hot water, boiling water. Well, it was boiling. It'll, it'll sterilize it good enough. Aldegod, tomorrow I will get some beer. Later, Chicho. Later, Aldegod. Say hi to your mom. I hope you guys have a fantastic evening. All right. Tomorrow, global conflict map. Woo, woo, woo. What a ride that's going to be. This is delicious. Very refreshing. Very refreshing. stuff good stuff now what we need to do I need to make space to put these on one side so let's do that while we're waiting for the jam to heat up Boop. you can put that guy there we need this guy we don't need this guy 
We don't need these guys. We can just put these guys here. But up, but up, but up. Yeah, let's just transfer this here. Okay. These guys we don't need. We can just put these guys in here. Okay. Um, uh, I'm gonna put a piece of. Yeah, we can put this guy here. And we can transfer this guy to standing up mode. Yes. And this guy can go there. I'm just going to make space here uh, to put the jam jars once we're sealed up because we want them to be put away. This is a good place for. Let's close this up. Put that there. Put this away. Give this a wash. So because the jars are going to be hot, I'm just going to put this here and I'm going to put this here. And then as soon as we put them here, I'm going to cover them with dish towels, basically. And what we're going to do when we start jarring it, we're going to close the door so no breeze comes in because of temperatures difference with the breeze, it might crack the jars, right? We've got to continue to make sure we're giving this a spin because we don't want it to stick in the bottom. And this is pretty hot right now, right? So what we're going to do, we're ready to get to business. Uh, I'm looking for a plate. I can just do this. Hmm. I'm gonna put this on. Kitty cats are comfortable in the patio. I'm just gonna make sure they're all good before I close the door on. Kitty cats are doing great. Patio is like their heaven. They love it. You're gonna wait for the first jar, this is the first one, right? <laughs> no cracks, no cracks, no cracks. Let's do a 250. Okay. I'm gonna lift up the lid here. Hot hot. We can take care of this. And sizzle going on.
Okay. I should have had this ready beforehand. We just want to give it a little wipe. Just on the rim. Should have been wearing this guy before, right? Don't go too tight. And we put it on the side. Okay. I don't need to cover it up right now because there's no uh, no breeze really kicking in. Quite a few over the last five years. Uh, you have ever? Yeah, 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 for sure. Every every jam making video, we've had at least one crack. It's just the nature of the beast because I keep on reusing jars. All of these jars are new, by the way. So maybe we won't have one crack. We'll see. Let's do a little guy. All of these brand new jars, brand new lids, bland, brand new spirit, like all of them. Right? I'm gonna kick down the temperature on this. Strange, first time chat. Strangely, hi. I want to offer from all oh God promotions. <laughs> Alu God, I hope you have fantastic dreams. Let's do a 500 mil. We did 125. We've done 250. Let's do 500 mil. I'm kicking this down to two. <laughs> oh my god, you're still here. It's a 60 second pilot.
spillage, spillage. Too much spillage. I can still get six. <laughs> oh my god, go to sleep, brother. It's all good. We get a little bit of spam, we get a little bit of spam. It's okay. But this is the fun part. Well, all of it is fun, but this is like. Uh, I like the jarring part. I really do. like watching the final product right Two fifty. Big smiles, big smiles. Let's do another one twenty five. Let's do another 250.
Did you hear that? One of the jars just sealed. Right. Let's do 250. There's another one. Let's do another 250. Beautiful sound. Do five hundred. Let's do a five hundred.
And that's another one. Nice sound, nice sound. cool down, end up washing the jars, just to clean up the sides. Let's do 250. I'm gonna bring the jars forward so they're not so far back in the oven. Because the back of the oven is hotter than the front. We can actually turn this off now. I just turned off the oven. That's one thing my mom mentioned last time. Nothing but steel, seal snapping. Nothing but seal snapping. You want jam this year for sure, Elder God. You've only picked up comics, eh? You gotta get the jam. You gotta tell me what you think of the jam, brother. They will make pastries and I'll send you pastries and then you gotta tell me what you think about the pastries oh. Nazooks nice. let's do 250 again And gang, do not forget, do not forget. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. Something that we, our societies, our communities, humanity, needs desperately for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or countless resources available online the fate of julian assange is linked up to our fate That should be obvious to everyone by now. Twenty twenty, I got the LGBT comic uh, comics. Go go boy, <laughs> nice. Twenty twenty one, Lobos at Christmas, nice. Lobo pair Meritary Christmas special, and twenty twenty two, an assortment of seven comics. Awesome. <laughs> oh wait a second, Elder oh God, this year's jams and uh, there is the Tamara Lich uh, signed book as well right i'm pretty sure we can figure it out i 
think Jam must come with a Tamara Lich comic book, <laughs> with a Tamara Lich signed book. The reason I wipe the lid, the rim, is because if there's any spillage of the blackberry, and there is, on the rim, then they won't seal properly, right? Nice. Let's do 500 mil. I got one more 250 mil in the in the oven. I'm gonna save that towards the, for the end. So we're gonna do some 500 mil. Book should probably go to Canadians. Yeah, possibly. But she did influence the world. So, but agreed. to have a copy sign we'll auction off one book if you remind me one book and a jar together But five was a lot. People were like, you buy five? The seller, the people selling. They're like, cool. No, we're gonna do a 250. There goes another one ceiling. Very nice, very nice. And we're gonna turn this off as well. We don't need it on no more. Oh, this one's not sizzling as much. Put the cover on this and then I'll 
tell you guys what we ended up getting. And we need this guy. out to be a really good jam. This is gonna be nice and thick. <laughs> Look at this. I'm just going to be munching on this, so. Mm. It's like blackberry fruit with roll ups. And very delicious. Mm. And very nice. Three half, three and a half half, three and a half hours. Oh my god, you're supposed to go to sleep. Snake eye. Is that you lurking? Snake eye. Look at this. Well, I don't need these gloves anymore. Very nice. So this plate is going to be the jam that I eat in the next couple of days. While the jams, the jars seal up. Hopefully they'll all seal up. This guy needs to be in. up pretty easy oh my god actually I'm waiting for Chicho to message me saying she has 
arrived at State Park. Oh, you're, that's what you're waiting for. Okay, okay. Yang, this is how much we got. We have two pots going, one and a half pot, one big pot, one about three quarters the size of the other one. We got one, two, three, four, five, 500 mil jars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 250 mil jars and two uh, 125. So 250 mil, 12, uh, divide by four, that's three liters, four liters, five liters, five and a half liters, 5.75 liters of blackberry jam. And a crack? No, but not this, no cracks, because all the jars were brand new, I think. Right, I think that's probably the reason. We haven't done a uh, jamming video, a jamming video, a jarring video yet, making uh, jam where we hadn't have a crack. Because sometimes I use, you know, there are some new ones and some old ones. This was all new. So I guess the stress on the glass over time, uh, you know, makes some of the older jars crack. That would be probably it. That would be my guess. All right. Let me turn off this camera. All right. Jam math, jam math. New container safety. Yeah, new containers. That's all it is, I guess. All right. So, and it makes sense. Over time, the jars, the glass goes under stress. Right. Yeah, so it's good, so it's good. Uh, fantastic, we got good, good, good blackberry jam. Most likely, um, we're gonna go picking next week as well. And uh, if we go picking next week, depending on how much we pick, uh, we might do another blackberry uh, jamming video. Uh, we see, we might freeze a whole bunch, but uh, uh, based on how much blackberries we can get from this location, the odds are uh, we'll get more we'll get more southern gamer you're back <laughs> we're we're done we got our jam jars done we got what did we get again five five point seven five liters of blackberry jam fantastic and a plate of blackberry jam that i'm gonna probably eat all of it today because it's amazing it's amazing super yummy right and awesome texture awesome texture i we let it reduce a fair bit so you could make it more liquidy but we made it thicker this time right mm. so good really if you like blackberry oh another one sealed If you like blackberries, this is the way to go. This is the way to go. Uh, you can have, uh, do a haul, go picking, and you can have it for multiple years if you make jam out of it, right? And the flavor is phenomenal. Gang, let's call the stream, Elder God. Or if you like, in English, jars of impeccable character came to serve the Jinsho jamming. <laughs> Edification. What? I gotta read that again. Jars of impeccable. Ah, oh, jars of impeccable character came to serve the Chicho jamming edification. <laughs> then nothing cracked. <sighs> nothing cracked. Awesome. Awesome. That was really good. I'm glad nothing cracked. It's 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 a shame wasting them, right? It's a shame wasting them, and it's it it's like a shocker when it cracks. You're like, oh oh. Uh, but fantastic fantastic elder god thank you for sticking around thank you for being here uh gang thank you for joining our live stream on twitch and on rumble uh where is our little outro going so we're live streaming on twitch so thank you for joining us on twitch thank you for joining us on the live stream on rumble and the video will be available on sensor tube bitch you rumble and odyssey right mk 
Kezo. How's it going, Chicho? Got my very first uh, motorbike. Wow, wow, today after doing my compulsory basic training honda cb 125 f nice be careful though brother be careful on a bike okay really um there's some really bad drivers out there so it's not enough for you to be a really good driver you better be a good driver um uh, riding a bike you have to watch out for other people and one recommendation i have for you is if you're new to motorbikes don't really go out on your own for a long time go on um, uh, group biking rides right so there's places you can sign up where you can say hey i have a bike i want to go riding a bike with other people so go riding a bike with others right in a group and that's a lot safer a lot safer trust me and the reason i'm telling you this I'll, I'll tell you this straight up um my younger brother died in a motorbike accident okay um because there are bad drivers around okay and he wasn't careful okay so it was an accident it it, it was what it was uh it is what it is had a lot to do with government uh going for um not uh, keeping keeping an intersection unsafe okay because it it was more uh profitable for them to keep that intersection on safe even though that intersection had tremendous number of accidents for multiple years multiple people died in that intersection and the fuckers didn't take care of it right um but be careful ride with groups learn it learn it learn it okay uh mk as a whole yeah i took an extra two hour course solely on hazard um, perceptions to at least give myself a better shot at recognizing dangers sign up to a club too awesome 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 for sure okay elegant i had a cb250 as my first bike after my training c90 awesome awesome gang uh i hope you enjoy your ride uh whatever it may be uh again thank you for being here uh, we are on patreon substack subscribe star you're definitely welcome to join us there for all the work there uh, for those of you that are supporting this work on all of these platforms including joining our gilded server um, thank you for the support thank you for joining our community i hope you enjoy uh, what we're doing and i hope uh, you're uh, enjoying the conversations okay all love brother stay safe out there indeed 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 uh gang we do have a soundcloud page we're on twitter minds vk gab um, soundcloud notes getter and all over the place you can definitely find us uh where uh where you should be and if you want us to be somewhere let us know right now we're live streaming on twitch and rumble and we'll see what we can do on live streaming uh, somewhere else uh enjoy your night gang enjoy your day and we'll be back tomorrow at 3 p.m pst west coast canada united states to look at our conflict map and see what's going on in the world bye everyone